Getting rid of dark spots is actually very simple. All you need to do is take these four steps and you will never have to worry about them again. The first step is understanding the cause. The second is using protective measures to counteract whatever the cause is. Then you want to find a targeted treatment that will eliminate the dark spots. And lastly, craft a good skincare routine that works for your skin type and keeps it healthy. Now let's dive a little deeper and talk about what causes dark spots. Dark spots or hyperpigmentation happen when your skin makes too much melanin. This can be caused by things like bad shaving habits, harsh exfoliation, acne healing and leaving a mark, too much sun exposure, or even hormones. Basically, your skin overreacts and creates extra pigment in one spot, making it darker than the rest of your skin. Now, black men obviously have more melanin than other races and are more likely to get dark spots when their skin gets irritated or damaged. That's because their skin naturally produces more pigment. So when it overproduces in one area, like after acne, irritation, or sun exposure, it leaves a dark spot more easily than in lighter skin tones. Now that we understand the cause, there's four ways we can prevent dark spots. One is not touching or irritating your skin by picking at your face or using harsh physical exfoliation. Physical scrubs are often a little bit too hard on the skin. They can create micro tears and trigger your skin to produce melanin, which will create more dark spots. You want to be using a chemical exfoliant like a BHA or an AHA. I recommend AHAs like mandelic acid or glycolic acid. Mandelic is actually safer for darker skin tones because it penetrates slowly and causes less irritation. Glycolic penetrates a little deeper, so it may cause irritation. Also, you want to avoid using products with fragrances in them because they can irritate the skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. Now, the second thing to prevent dark spots is using sunscreen. Yes, even if you're black, I know a lot of black people are against using sunscreen because of the chemicals or because of the white cast that some of them leave on your skin. But sunscreen is actually very essential for black men, especially if you tend to get dark spots. And the reason is that UV light actually accelerates melanin overproduction, even on darker skin tones. So if you're not wearing sunscreen, your dark spots will get even darker from the sun, even though it may not burn your skin now guys here's what you want to look for to find a good sunscreen the first thing is spf 30 or higher this number shows how strong your sunscreen is so the higher the number the more protection number two is going to be broad spectrum this means it blocks both burning rays uvb and aging rays uva number three is ingredients that work even if you're going for a mineral sunscreen or a sunscreen that doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it you want to look for these specific ingredients zinc oxide or titanium dioxide both of these physically block uv rays number four is optional and it's water resistance this is only needed if you're going to be sweating or swimming and number five is something that feels good on your skin if it feels greasy itchy or you know it's kind of irritating your skin obviously don't use it you want to go for something lightweight that doesn't irritate your skin and that doesn't have a fragrance in it as well now guys keep in mind that you don't want to be overusing sunscreen because it can lower your vitamin d and worsen pigmentation so only use small amounts on days that you know you're going to be outside now the third way that you can prevent dark spots is regulating your hormones by fixing your gut health you do this by fixing your diet cutting out seed oil sugar, processed foods, and inflammatory foods in general. Instead, you want to be focusing on foods rich in vitamin C, E, and B. Also, zinc foods that are high in protein like meat, fish, and eggs. You'll see a massive difference in your skin just by fixing your diet. Also, make sure that you're exercising regularly and staying within a healthy body fat percentage because that's going to regulate your hormones as well. Okay, so now that we understand preventing dark spots, let's get into actually treating them. And before you even start treating your dark spots, you have to get rid of acne first by crafting and consistently using a good skincare routine now what makes a good skincare routine you might ask first we start with our foundation which is cleanser moisturizer sunscreen like we talked about earlier and lastly an exfoliant now when it comes to specific skincare products it's going to be a little bit complicated because there's a vast you know selection of products that you can possibly use but if you want something that's going to work for your skin as a black man i'm going to recommend you use the same brand that i use which is tease hanley and i'm excited to announce that they're sponsoring today's video now guys they make skincare so super simple one box gives you everything that you need a face wash exfoliator and moisturizer with spf in it so you won't have to buy sunscreen and also a pm moisturizer if you choose a level 3 anti-aging option like i did it also comes with eye cream and a skin tightening serum it literally saves you from all that confusion and wasted money on random products that don't work together and with a subscription it also shows up at your door every month automatically and guys the results speak for themselves i personally noticed that my skin looks 10 times clearer and smoother during the day when I use the face wash and moisturizer and it lasts surprisingly long compared to other products that I've tried. On top of that, the SPF moisturizer does not leave a white cast so it really makes your skin glow. And if you won't take my word for it, they also have hundreds of positive
positive reviews. The Tej Hanley brand is literally everywhere right now. Hundreds of YouTubers are using it and it's blowing up on TikTok because it actually works. And guys, if we're being real, we all know that when your face looks better, women notice, people notice in general, and your confidence shoots up. Now guys, because they're sponsoring this video, of course, I'm gonna hook you guys up with a deal. So if you click the first link in the description, you'll get 40% off your first box, plus a free gift worth over $20. If you're serious about looking better, this is the easiest upgrade you will ever make. Now moving on guys, now that we've crafted a good skincare routine, let's talk about what you need to actually eliminate dark spots once they appear. And what you want to look for is products with tyrosinase inhibitors, which basically reduce melanin production. Ingredients like azelaic acid, kojic acid, vitamin C, alpha arbutin, niacinamide, and retinols are going to be the best for reducing dark spots. Now let me explain how these work individually. Azelaic acid calms inflammation and slows down the enzyme that makes melanin, so it prevents new dark spots while helping old ones one's fate. Now, kojic acid, ideally at 1% to 2%, directly blocks melanin production and is often used in low percentages because it can be strong if overused. Next, we have vitamin C, specifically L-ascorbic acid. This one is a powerful antioxidant that brightens the skin and blocks the melanin making process while also protecting against sun damage. Next, we have alpha arbutin. This one works like kojic acid, but more gently and is great for gradual lightening of dark spots. Then we have niacinamide, and this one reduces transfer of pigment to skin cells and it calms irritation. So it helps prevent future dark spots. Now, lastly, we have retinols and these speed up cell turnover. So dark spots fade faster as old pigmented skin cells are replaced with new ones. Now, retinols are a little bit more powerful. So you should only be using these if you're an adult. You should not be using these if you're under the age of 18. Some even say under the age of 20. Now, ideally, you'd want a dark spot serum that mixes multiple of these ingredients for the best result. If you want specific product recommendations, just message me on Instagram. I respond to everyone. I don't have a high follower count on there. It's only like four, 300 followers, something like that. So if you message me on Instagram, I'll definitely get back to you. But moving on, I'm going to talk about the order of which you should be applying your dark spot serum inside your skincare routine. So you want to start with cleansing. I personally use a vitamin C cleanser, but it's up to you what, you, what kind of cleanser you want to use. Then you want to use a toner like a mandelic acid toner. Then you apply your dark spot serum. And lastly, you want to use moisturizer. This routine is meant to be used at night so that you sleep with the product on and it can do its work while you're asleep and while your body's repairing itself. In the morning, you want to just wash your face with your cleanser and then use sunscreen. Now, I'm going to give you guys some bonus tips for natural ways to reduce dark spots and get your skin clear. The first one is use topical antioxidants like aloe vera gel, green tea, licorice, and quercetin. These all inhibit tyrosinase which is the enzyme that makes melanin so that's why they help fade dark spots next is increasing internal antioxidants through diet so you want to be eating more raw vegetables large salads and food rich in zinc and nutrients to replenish antioxidant levels in the skin and prevent new dark spots next we have fasting and exercise both of these trigger the body to produce more internal antioxidants so it improves skin health and reduces oxidative stress next is getting regular but safe sun exposure this is important because sunlight helps the body produce vitamin d which is essential for skin health if you can't get a lot of sunlight, just find a vitamin D supplement to take. You're going to be taking 10,000 to 20,000 IU per day. Don't forget to check out Tej Hanley. First link in the description. With that being said, this is the end of the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.